Hi, D. Hi, everyone. It's D. How are you today? I hope all is well in your world. So today I'm doing something really, really um, drastic for me, but um, I am actually getting microblading done. Hello. It's going to be here at the Village's Salon at the Brow Project with Nicole Blankenship. So my bestie, Rachel, is going to be recording me today. We're going to just walk in, see how it goes, tell you how it is, and I will be completely honest with my experience. I'm really excited about it to not have to draw my brows in every single day, especially since I over-tweezed in the 90s. All right, see you then. This is Nicole Blankenship Hi. at The Brow Project. Yes. She's amazing. If um, What's your handle on um, on Instagram? Uh, underscore The Brow Project underscore. She's awesome. That's where you can find me. Yeah, she's amazing. All the good stuff. <laughs> so I'm going in for, I guess, like the classic, how would you describe my brows? Because I over-tweeze in the 90s. I know I talk about We all life. did, girl. We all did. Me too. Um, I was Kate Moss, yeah. Yeah, right. With Pamela Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think your brows fit your face perfectly. I personally would just, I don't fix something that's not broken, right? Mm -hmm. So you have great brows. I just want to enhance and define the shape that you already have. Mm -hmm. um, I go for a very classic shape um, that's going to look good now. It's going to look good in 10 years. It fits every face shape, every age. Um, you know, again, I don't create what's trending on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> so not the Instagram no, brow. The no, 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 no. Less is more. This is a tattoo on your face. Yes. Less is more. So awesome. you're going to love them today. Great. You'll love them healed. And after the touch up, once I do my finishing touches, you will love them. Okay. So much. I'm super excited. I know. Them. Me too. Yeah. And how, how long, when do you start having like the scabbing and like, like I've yeah. heard about that. Okay, so, yeah. so <laughs> Let's just get down common there. misconceptions, microblading does not scab. It okay. should not, okay, what I mean by scab, like a hardened scab. Okay. It's so like a tattoo would heal, right? Okay. Um, if something hardens and scabs, something was not done correctly. So I've never, in my year and a half okay. of doing this, I've ever had someone scab. They shouldn't scab. Okay. I see it online all the time when bloggers write about, I'm like, yes. that's not right. Like, it's, it's. Okay. It's the technique. They, if, if if you scab, someone's gone too deep. It's okay. not supposed to do that. So Good you will experience, yes, yeah. You will experience more of a light flaking, like dry skin. It's going to look like dry flakes. Okay. No hardened scab. There's no downtime. It's not like you need to, like, avoid the public. Now, of course, <laughs> they're going to be bolder in color. Right, in right. In shape, duh, you know, for the next five to seven days, so I tell everyone, don't over obsess over this. Can you put makeup on top of it? Would that be okay to kind of soften no. the look? No. So oh, nothing okay. can go on them for two weeks okay. until they're done yeah. healing. Okay. Yes. So oh, not nice. even any moisturizer? Super fun. Nothing on the brows unless it's the unless it's water, which will kind of go over that. Okay. And I'll give you a very specific aftercare cream to use, Okay. Um, which you'll start tomorrow. Okay. Um, but yeah, so nothing, your main goal for the next two weeks is to keep them as dry as possible. Okay. Nothing goes on them. Oh, nothing. No makeup, okay. no creams, unless it's something I get. They right. might be okay. a little flaky, but honestly, I would say 80% of my clients don't even notice the, okay. the flaking. And that's that subtle. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, no, you're going to love awesome. it. I'm like super excited. I'm excited too. Yeah. And one more question. Yeah, the what's ink, up? What kind of ink do you, what is it? Okay, so um, another misconception too. Um, what uh, makeup, permanent makeup, we use pigments, right? Okay. Okay, so what makes a body tattoo permanent? It's not the machine. It's not how deep they're going because we're implanting pigment at the same um, depth, right? Even with microblading. Mm -hmm. um, the, the difference is tattoos use ink. The molecule of the tattoo ink is so large, your body can't do anything with it, right? Okay. That's what makes the tattoo permanent. Now, what makes permanent makeup, not permanent like a tattoo, is that we use pigments. Pigments your body naturally metabolizes, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the next, you know, months, years, etc. Um, obviously, your skin kind of exfoliates it off. So that's the difference between, you know, tattooing, body, traditional tattooing and permanent makeup. Mm -hmm. We use pigments. They're, you know, lab tested to be worked, obviously, in the vascular system. Tattoo inks are not. Tattoo inks are super cheap. To buy, easy to make, pigments, you know, require right. a little more TLC. So um, I use LI pigments. Um, some of my mentors I've trained under the top artists in the world, um, they all use LI pigments. Um, LI pigments have been around for over 25 years. Um, they are the best in the business. 
Um, oh, in 25 years, they have zero recorded um, allergic reactions. Okay. Or complications with MRI. And the reason why I say that is all permanent makeup pigments in the world, every single line, organic or inorganic, have iron oxides in them. And iron oxides can sometimes, if you're getting an MRI, make your results come out a little funky because of the iron oxide. So if you are getting an MRI, just always let your, the technician know that you have permanent makeup. Okay. Always good for them to know. They'll probably ask anyways. Okay. But, um, yeah, no complications at all. I've had... You know, I've worked with this line for about a year and a half, and okay. I love it. So. Yay! Super okay, excited. well, stay tuned. Yay. We'll be doing more Party of this. Okay. Time. We are numbing D's eyebrows. Yes. Numbing D's brows. Yes. You know, you're still going to feel a little bit. It's, there's, you know, it's not going to be painless, mm -hmm. but I can assure you it is worth any amount of pain you do feel. I go out of my way to make sure you are yeah. as comfortable as possible. To be honest, if you can handle, if you've had laser hair removal or um, like if you've had threading <laughs> or yeah. even waxing, like I feel, I feel like pain scale, it's crazy. How about two neck surgeries? Oh, yeah. yeah you, you tough, girl. <laughs> I'm not worried about you. I'm so pretty. She's oh. done. <laughs> you look oh, awesome. I know. I love it. Flawless. Just let me my new uh, oh, profile oh, picture. Wait, hold on. Oh, hold this is even, even better. Oh, oh, yes. Yo, what's up? Yes. Yo, yes, queen. How you doing? Rounds? Yeah, Something okay, like the, that? The, the, the not ball. cotton balls. Okay, but... but the, yeah, the gauze. Yeah, gauze, whatever. Because that's like your method of pretty much cleansing your brows. Okay. Because you won't be cleansing over them with soap or anything. Anything. You'll just like cotton water and blah. Okay. Okay? I keep my post treatment super, super simple. I find that that has produced beautiful healed results for me. Okay. So, um, honestly, as long as you just really baby them over the next two weeks, you okay. should. I can still wear eye makeup and mascara. Totally, and everything. Just yeah. nothing on the brow. Nothing brow, on the brow. brow. So just be careful when applying makeup. Around okay. the brow, like concealer, okay. eye primer, whatever it is that you wear. Okay. Um, but no, yeah, you could even go out. You could go full face makeup tonight, as okay. long as you make sure you wash your face and just be careful not to like. Okay. But yeah, okay. I would probably recommend um, if you have makeup wipes or that like micellar water. Mm -hmm. As far as cleansing or taking off makeup from like eyes up, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend using a cleanser here. Okay. Just, just to use, avoid. Yeah. Yeah. So just maybe use. Makeup wipes, okay. makeup remover wipes here and here. Here down, you can do whatever. Okay. You can use your cream serums, but from here up, I don't want you using any serums, any okay. creams, because it can just fall in. Because it will yeah, travel. It will travel. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, so Instagram, Instagram, and I followed you for a while, okay. and so I watched you for a while, and then I just saw your work, and I was like, well, those are like, she has, they have full brows, and then when you started, I started seeing some of the ones yeah. that were less than some that had none, Did you, you know? see, I posted one yesterday that was literally 100% tattooed. She yeah. has zero hair. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, I didn't see that one, um, but yeah, so I'll have to look again, yeah. but yeah, I've just, so Instagram is where I found awesome. you. What would be your advice to anybody that's looking for a brow artist? Oh my gosh, read, do your research, do your research. There's so many people doing this now, like out of, popping up out of the woodwork, like people with zero background and experience with skin and color and aesthetics and just aesthetically what looks good. Like my background, is, I've been a makeup artist professionally for 10 years, so obviously I, I have an eye for color. Mm -hmm. I, ha I have an eye for what looks good. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, my background in skin, I used to you know, work in the medical spa, so I'm very savvy with you know, skin care and, and the anatomy of the skin, of course, so um, do your research, read reviews, don't be afraid to ask questions. Right. Um, about trainings, what, you know, not necessarily where did you train, because it's not like you know you would really know the difference anyways, but advanced trainings, like all of that stuff is so important. Sure. Read, reviews, look at healed results, please, because obviously it's going to look amazing right after, like duh. This is my take on it. So like microblading or permanent makeup in general, like after the first session, like immediately after, that's art, right? Uh -huh. It's right, beautiful. Right. But what's the healed result? Skill. Okay. That tells you that you that that artist knows what they're doing. Now, obviously, people retain pigment very differently mm -hmm. um, based off their skin type, metabolism, metabolism, you know, their lifestyle. If they have the health of their skin, medications, health conditions, okay, all of that stuff ties into it. So again, like 
you know, there's kind of a fine line there. But for the most part, healed result is skill, right? Okay. Um, so don't get a group on to get your breath. <laughs> don't look at this face. <laughs> do not do the uh, discount. You get what you pay for, boo. Like you, yeah. you got to look at this as. I mean, I, it's like cosmetic surgery. Yeah. It's like plastic it's surgery. It's a tattoo on your face. This is yeah. going to alter the way your yeah. face looks permanently. Yeah. Okay. Not to, not permanently like a tattoo again, but, you know, for like a couple okay. of years for sure. What's the upkeep on this? So, so microblading, all manual techniques require the most um, maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, so my recommendation is every 8 to 12 months you come in and we just freshen up those color and mm -hmm. the strokes. Um, now if you decide down the road that you want a technique that has less maintenance, um, I do offer machine techniques. Um, the advantage of a machine technique over a manual technique like microblading is A, better pigment retention, um, B, longer lasting results. Um, less maintenance, mm -hmm. um, and then C, uh, less trauma to the skin over time. Okay. So I will probably slowly, even you, uh, transition all my clients into a machine technique okay. eventually just for the integrity of their skin long term. Obviously think about it, if you're cutting into the skin every eight months, you're going to build scar tissue. It's inevitable. Um, okay. Obviously we want to kind of prolong that. So, um, you know, a machine technique is, is definitely will kind of lessen that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely eventually transition you into a machine. So, this know, is a good future. starting point just oh, to yeah. kind of see where this goes yep. and how I like yep. it and all of that. Microblading then... is the perfect place to start. Okay. Because if you, you know, because it is, in my opinion, the most softest, most kind of neutral, natural look. Um, if you decide down the road that you want a little bit more drama or just less maintenance, like I've done, I've had my, my brows personally microbladed multiple times. Um, since then I've stopped doing microblading and I, my new favorite is the powder brow, which is what I have. I have nothing on my eyebrows, not one thing, nothing mm -hmm. at all. Um, and I have like no brows. Like you okay. have twice the brow I have. Okay. And this is obviously with permanent makeup, so it's very okay. conservative and, and you know, okay. natural. So if I'm wearing... This is my everyday look. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I probably, uh, you know, should dress it up a little bit. But if I, obviously, if I'm wearing a little more makeup, I, you know, do a little bit to my brows just to yeah, kind of enhance sure, them. Sure, but sure. for every day, like this is perfect. So okay, um, yeah, I'm awesome. super excited for you, girlfriend. I know, me too. Yeah. Right. Okay, so as far as pigment goes, what I what I like to achieve with pigment is either. A, have it a level lighter than, if you're wanting a softer look, lighter than your brow color. We don't go off this. This yeah. changes, right? right brow right. color doesn't. Yeah. So we either go a level lighter, about the same shade, or a level darker if you're wanting a darker look. So. Lighter. You want to <laughs> do lighter. Okay, yeah. and here's the thing. You know, like I said, they're going to change a lot over the next month or so. If we need to go darker at the touch-up, easy. Okay. Done. Okay. Darker is easy. Um, we can always, always add, obviously cannot subtract. So if we need to go darker, that's what the touch-up is for. Okay. That, the touch-up is my opportunity to see what your skin is going to respond best to, because obviously I don't know that, as I've never worked with the skin. So mm -hmm. if we need to switch up the pigment formulation, if we need to use a different tool, if we need to switch up the post-treatment, that's my opportunity to see what, how your skin responds to okay. the permanent makeup. So, cool. like I said, you know, two part process for a very good reason. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no way to make them perfect after perfect after one session. Sure, sure. Um, you're like I said, you'll still, you'll love them today, but after yeah. the touch up is like, yes, yes, so okay, good, so. so exciting, yes, Yay. girl. All right, get okay. started on that Great. base. So this color is classic brown. This would be the softer mm -hmm. um, option for today. This color is chocolate truffle. As you can see, they're pretty much identical in tone. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of a neutral, little bit of, you can see kind of seeing the green and the yellow in it, which you want. Um, so it really is just going to kind of boil down to what, um, you know, you're comfortable rocking for the next five to seven days when they're in their darker phase. But like I said, even if we did the lighter, we can always do that one next time. All right, love. So, based off the paperwork, do you have any questions for me? No, I think um, we've I think we've killed we've you with killed questions. Okay, today. Cool. So, yes. well, don't don't hesitate. That's okay. Here yes, for. We'll do. Um, I will give you my little spiel as I give to everyone. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, they're going to be bolder in color and shape. Um, you should expect to lose about twenty. I would say on average for 
young healthy skin, um, you should expect to lose about 20 to 30 percent of that color. Best case scenario, worst case scenario, 60 to 70 percent. Again, I don't see that too often. I see that more in your kind of oily skin or very mature skin. Um, okay. So you, you should, as long as you baby them, you should retain okay. a good amount of that pigment. Okay. I can just, you have healthy, nice skin, so okay. it's going to look great on you. Um, so it's going to be bolder in shape, obviously minor swelling, okay? okay. You will notice... Um, you know, as the kind of days go by and once they're completely healed, um, everything's going to shrink a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's going to get kind of a little bit thinner, which is good. And a lot of that too is just from the swelling and from the actual treatment. So they're going to look thicker and bolder in color and shape. So okay. today they're going to look awesome. You're going to be like, oh my God, they look so natural. They look great. Okay. I'm going to tell you day two through four. <laughs> is dark, okay? <laughs> They're gonna be darker, oh! and you're gonna freak out. Okay. So what I'm gonna tell you to do <laughs> is wear a little more makeup, balance it out, okay? okay. They're gonna look darker day two through four, okay? okay. Today they're gonna look. If I have to go out, wear a lot of makeup. Okay. I would just yeah, girl. Wear I mean, the big eyes. Wear a bold yeah, lid, maybe some like white lashes okay. and a smoke. Like it's gonna okay. look amazing. It's okay. just gonna it's just gonna be bold, okay? okay. Everyone can have as many freak out, so. Um, you know, I love you and all, but please don't text me two days in and be like, they're so dark. What can I do? Can I put something on? I'm going to say you need to calm your tits and just, you know, let's just, just trust the process. We'll do okay. it. We'll do it. Okay. Um, again, you'll kind of, um, they'll get kind of itchy during okay. the healing process. No don't No scratching, itch. no rubbing, no picking. You have to tap them like a weave. Okay. <laughs> That's what I say. I'm like, tap, tap like them like a weave. Okay. Um, yeah. So no scratching, no rubbing, no pulling. That's very important. Okay. Um, so no, avoid steamy hot showers. Okay. Okay. That will so be keep hard. a door cracked. Okay. You know, just keep it quick. quick. Quick, just quick, quick. quick. Okay. Yeah. Um, after they're done peeling, they're pro you'll probably notice some flakes probably in like four to five days. Everyone heals at different rates. So don't think something's wrong if you're taking too long, too, you know, longer to heal than 14 mm. days. Everyone's a little different, okay? okay? Um, biggest piece of advice I give every single client, again, is to not over obsess over them. Okay. Because literally they change so much. Like okay. every couple of days, they're going to look a little different. Okay. And especially during the, the healing and the, the flaking process, there might be a day or two where they're kind of patchy. That's just a part of the process. Okay. You just got to... You know, keep your eye on the prize. Trust me. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, treated hundreds of people. You just got to keep your eye on the prize and just know it's only going to get better from here. When do I call you? Um, I would say... I mean, what would have to happen for me to call you? Where you would say, call me. Well, some people... So, this is very important. So, once the pigment has exfoliated off the skin, which is, again, 10 to 14 days from today, the strokes are going to look super light. Mm-hmm. Everyone has a mini freak out. And if I had a dollar for every time I got a text or an email mm -hmm. after about two weeks from today, I'd be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. So they're going to look really light. The skin is not done healing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once they're done peeling, you can do everything as normal. You can cleanse over them as long as you're using a gentle cleanser. Mm -hmm. um, you can use your brow product. You mm -hmm. can do everything as normal, but until then, not. Okay. And that's on day what? I would say, again, everyone heals at different rates, but I would say about 10 to 16 days from today, the peeling process okay. should be over. Okay. Okay? Then you once you don't see any flakes, girl, put on makeup. Okay. The beauty of permanent makeup is that it is going to simplify your beauty routine. By mm -hmm. no means do I market it as, girl, throw away that brow pencil. You're never going to need it. That's unrealistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to simplify your beauty routine. You're going to wake up with a more defined brow. You're going to go to sleep with that more defined brow. Yeah. If you're wanting a shaded in look, microblading will not give you that look. Microblading is a soft, airy, 3D look. Mm -hmm. So you're still going to have a little bit of gaps here and there. If you want to fill in those gaps, use your powder. Mm -hmm. um, again, I do offer other techniques if you decide down the road that you want a soft shading, mm -hmm. I offer the shading. We can add that. That's easy. Or if you decide down the road you kind of want more of this type of look, we can mm -hmm. definitely do the powder brow, which is done by a machine, which I love. Uh -huh. um, powder, that's probably where I'll end up. Yeah, I, like I think so at, too. Where I'll end up. Yeah, I think so too. But like I said, this is a good place to start, start. with this and then down the road. easy powder over it. That's okay. easy. Um, so like I said, they're going to be really light mm -hmm. as the skin continues to heal from the inside out. The color will start to stabilize. The strokes will look a little more crisp mm. and clean at about four to five weeks from today. Okay. So that's why I say don't over obsess because literally they change a lot okay. over the next four to five weeks. And you that's just the healing process. That's just that's the, the healing. healing process. But okay. it's the first two weeks where you got to be careful. After mm -hmm. that first two weeks, that's just the skin doing its thing. Okay. You do everything as normal after okay. that. But cool. just know, you know, again, two-part process for a reason. I go more conservative today. 
Um, and then the touch up is for filling in the gaps. So I strategically place strokes because once the stroke heals, today it's going to look very hair-like, very mm -hmm. thin, very crisp. Once it heals, the stroke is going to slightly expand just a little bit. Oh, good. With okay. your skin type, it's going to look super crisp. I can already tell. I find on my more oily skin, mm -hmm. it, it kind of expands a little bit more and almost mm -hmm. looks more of a shaded in. That's not going to be the case for you. I'm dry. You just tell yeah. by your skin. So, um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's – honestly, it looks, micro right. looks best on dry skin. Okay. Normally dry. Yeah. All right. Well, the I'm strokes always candidate. look more crisp and hair-like on okay. dry skin. So, okay, no, cool. you're, you're good there. So, like I said, you know, they're going to be kind of light. Just, just okay. trust the process. Let them do their thing. And then when you come in for the touch-up, we'll fill in the gaps. Okay. Um, and what I mean by that is obviously just strategically placing those because if you – Put strokes too close to each other and don't mm -hmm. leave ample space. And they're all going to blend together and it looks like shit. Yeah. And that's not what I And I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. I've oh, seen I pictures. see it all the time. I've seen girls, oh, I've had the microblade. I'm like, girl, that looks straight up tattooed. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. not microblade. It's, yeah, it's bad. So yeah. you're going to have, yeah, so use your pattern. Okay. okay. Having the microblading and knowing what to fall, it's just going to make it so much easier. Yes. And I know even as a makeup artist, like you, just like you, like even me, like I, before microblading, I used, or, you know, permanent makeup, I used to spend like literally 30 minutes oh, on my I brows. I hate it. It's, it's, crazy. it's And I don't have the time anymore. I don't, either. I don't have the time anymore. Like yeah. this is the problem. That's why people are like, oh, you're a makeup artist? I'm like, I know. They look crazy. You, you know, look, but right? I, I know. I'm like, yeah, horrible. Too. I'm like, horrible. Yeah. I'm a makeup artist. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it's the truth. Don't yeah, we usually, we usually it's the no we... makeup cleanse. Okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. Like I said, you don't have obsess with them. They're okay. gonna change a lot. And um, yeah, after I see you for round two, you're gonna be twice as. I mean, you're gonna love them today. You're gonna okay. leave here like ecstatic. Oh my gosh! But after the and touch in four up, days, I'll like, be like, what the? <laughs> yeah. So no, you're you're. It's okay. gonna, you know, it's gonna be an interesting kind of phase. I'm excited about transformation. It, so I can't wait cool to, to kind of see that. 